Hello, hello. Welcome to a novel console, your weekly podcast where we talk about books, games, food, and stuff that caught our attention during the week. My name is Chris, and with me is my beautiful co hostess and wife, Karen. Hello. Now, I think I want you to go back to just host because now all I can think about is hostess cakes. The Twinkies? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the cream? Just stop. <laughs> Wait, don't, doesn't hostess make those powdered sugar donuts too? I think so. Man, I could eat some of those right now. I, I can't, but I could. That's a shame. I know. No, somebody the other day told me they loved them a lot. I can't remember who it was. Like, um, they're they're terrible. They're not good, but they're one of those things that you like can't stop eating once you start eating them. I remember who told me. Who? Our Patreon supporters. Oh my God, are you serious? Yep, and they support us with two bucks a month on Patreon, patreon.com slash novel console. Uh, they get extra episodes, access to polls, which we have the revelations for the... Back- the revelations, the results. The results. <laughs> Remember, I'm still in Puerto Rican mode. <laughs> you need to tap my head twice to reset me. <laughs> there was like one time where we were talking to each other and we were riding around in the car and you spoke Spanish with your parents anytime you had to speak to them and I said something to you and you like spoke Spanglish back to me. But it was at least something that I understood. Well, we'll save that for a little bit later. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, two bucks a month, um, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, patreon.com slash Was that seriously your whole bit, or did somebody seriously tell you they liked those powdered sugar donuts no, that and was you a, just turned it into your bit? That was a bit. Are you kidding me? That whole thing was a bit. I fell for it. Yes, you did. Oh. And that's exactly what I wanted. A little I, tricksy, like a little hobbit. <laughs> you said Trixie like my dad's dead dog. Oh my god! <laughs> so, uh, before we get into the backlog of Doom results, let's just go ahead and do the usual. Uh, we would really appreciate it if you would tell your friends about the show, you know, share it wherever you can share stuff, tell them we're available everywhere. Um, the easiest way to share us is on Facebook. Our podcast comes out there every week, um, and you can just basically just hit the share button, it'll go to your feed. And people will be able to listen there, and uh, that's just basically... Just tell them it's not safe for work. Yeah, you can just type NSFW, and that, that should be good enough. Rated R, NC-17. <laughs> NC-17? <laughs> well, not this week, because we don't have a, a sex toy. I'm I'm kind of saving them. You know, I'm sure there's like a like a dildo that's got like a Puerto Rican flag on it somewhere. A, a coquille shape? I have no... Di- oh, my a God! A coquille dildo? Oh, no! Or an iguana. <laughs> or an iguana. Anyways, uh, yeah, and also, uh, please give us a review wherever you listen to podcasts. We would appreciate that very much, and uh, it helps people find the show. All right, so let's get into uh, the uh, backlog of Doom winners. Uh, which one do you want to know first, the books or games, Karen? Uh The book. I think I know what it is, unless it changed in the last which do little you th- bit. What do you think it is? I think it's Postscript. Yes, it's definitely post. What was second place? Crazy Rich Asians? Uh, it's a tie between Crazy Rich Asians and The Empire of Dreams. I had a feeling. Why did you have a feeling that it was a tie? I don't know. I guess Empire of Dreams probably sounded like the most interesting, but Crazy Rich Asians is something that everybody would know, other than Postscript. If they listen to the episode, they'll know what Postscript is. If they didn't, they might not know what Postscript is, but I somehow it's still one. I Which see. is good. I mean... I I should have read it the minute I bought it. I made you buy it for me on Pub Day, which I, was like two years ago. <laughs> I don't remember that. That's how many books you have. Anyways. And how many books you bought me. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so for the backlog of Doom games, um, we have the winner as Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. Uh, the runner-up, ups, runners up, runner-ups. Runners up, I think. Were yeah, runners up. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition for the Nintendo Switch and Dragon Quest IV Chapters of the Chosen. So, uh, yeah. And the uh, cool thing is, um, Thrak decided to um, join us for the episode. So he is going to read Postscript, Postscript. <laughs> and play the game. And uh, he will be on... Have you uh, read P.S. I Love You, Thrak? That's if a good not, question. I guess it's okay if you just watch the movie, but it's not the same. They changed a, a good bit. He'll definitely not let us know. Um, so last week, 
our, we released the uh, Dragon Ball episode where you um, uh, read... bashed the hell out of Super yes. Saiyan. You you did bash the hell out of Super Saiyan, but uh, you uh, read the Frieza saga. I did. So I know you've heard me talk and seen um, Vegito and, and Gogeta. Right, you remember the Broly movie when they did the fusion dance? Yeah, and, and they had a fail, fu- a failed fusion. Yes, and I thought that that failed fusion Funko set was them, but it's not. No, that's Goteng and Trunks. That's Gotenks. So the uh, failed, uh, not the failed fusion. The fusion between Goku and Vegeta is Gogeta, and that one is now canon. It wasn't canon before. Oh. And the uh, other fusion with the Patara earrings, which is the earrings that the Supreme Kai gives them for them to be able to fuse, is called Vegito. And it's funny because in Japanese it's Vegerot, like Kakarot mm-hmm. and Vegeta. That's a lot. Vegerot. Anyways, um, so people for some reason have this boner for debating who's stronger, either Vegito or Gogeta. And but I thought Vegito was just the earrings. Yes. So what? So the thing is what? that people keep fighting. Oh, who's who's more who's stronger? Who's stronger? The people are stronger than the earrings. What? The people are stronger than the earrings. No, no. What fusion? The one with the earrings or the one with the dance? Oh. So is Vegito stronger than Gogeta? Oh, dancing fusion versus earring fusion. Exactly. You m- made me think it was people versus the actual earrings. No, no, no. People are. Are the versions of fusions. People keep fighting about what version is stronger. Uh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So somebody posted something on this fan page saying, oh, Akira Toriyama said that they're the same level of strength and whatnot. And I'm like, uh, that doesn't sound right because in Z, I remember that Supreme Kai told Goku that the Potara fusion was stronger because it was a more perfect fusion than the fusion dance. And I wrote that, and I said, but, so Supreme Kai is a liar now? And people went off on that. They got so mad. Where did you post this? In, in some stupid, like, Dragon Ball C fan group oh, on Facebook. Oh, dear. They're like, oh, it is the same thing. Just because the fusion is more perfect doesn't mean that it's not stronger. And I just, like... Okay, fine, whatever. You just gotta love Akira Toriyama and his inconsistencies because he's the guy that created the tales on the Saiyans and then completely forgot about them. And when somebody asked him about it, he said, oh, they're a recessive trait. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this dude is so fucking inconsistent. He doesn't know what the hell he's written and what's canon and what not. And he just keeps pulling shit out of his ass, causing chaos between the fans. It's like that wizard <laughs> bitch woman who fucked up her own timeline. Yep. With fantastic beasts and characters who were in that that should not have been born yet. So one person was like, no, he's right. The Vegito is stronger than Gogeta because for Gogeta, you need to have the power levels be exactly the same. And both persons need to be about the exact same height for the fusion to work perfectly. If not, you get fat boo or, or not fat boo, fat go tanks or skinny go tanks or whatever. And it doesn't matter what power level you're at or whatever if you use the Potara earrings because that isn't limited. So technically, Vegito is stronger. And these people don't want to see that or admit that. They just like to fight. None of this means anything to me yet. It'll mean something to you in about six months when you finish the whole series. Oh my god! No, I can't finish the whole series in six months. I think you can. No, it's too long. Well, you have read longer books. I do need to know about Cell, though, and why he was so terrifying to Danny as a child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people have heard, no people haven't heard that. No, yet. not yet. <laughs> no. They will. <laughs> they will in about like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't remember if it was on our show or on his show. <laughs> oh shit! I don't remember either. I feel like it was on his because I feel like I remember him sitting to my left instead of my right and when him, he said that and him saying that. Were yeah. we even on air, or was that a conversation? Hmm. 
That's... We'll find out in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that out soon. Anyways, are you ready to get into some, um, what's it called, discussion time? Yes. All right, so this is discussion time. So last week, we went to Chris's homeland of Puerto Rico. Woo! Almost five years together, and I had never seen where he spent the first 25 years of his life. I, it's still weird. I keep thinking that I've been here in Florida for five years, and then we've been together for five years, and we didn't start dating until after two years. Since of I you being in. here, yeah, because you turned 27 days after we met. Yep. Days. Yep. Oh, you're an old man. <laughs> yeah, so are you. Oh, shut up. I'm not a man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we went to Puerto Rico. And um, you want to you even talk about the plane experiences? We're going to talk start to finish? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, my plan was to do just garbage the whole episode. But, unfortunately, we can't do that. No, we really can't. Because I ate the same thing the whole time, basically. Yeah, just chicken and rice and beans. Yep. <laughs> or, or fish, rice, and beans. Literally the entire time. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> we have never really traveled together. Our only vacation, in quotation marks, has been to Rockville. Uh, and that was literally just us driving up to Jacksonville and going to rock concerts all weekend. <laughs> so not really a vacation. It was to me. We got to hang I mean, out at the hotel. Fun, yeah. We got to play video games all day. We got to see I got to go to the music. pool and there were a bunch of metalheads smoking at the pool. Our hotel was just full of metalheads. Yep. Yeah. A lot of metalheads. Oh, God. But, Probably a couple um, of meth heads, too. Uh, shut up. Anyway, uh, we we did not know what the two of us are like flying. Oh, boy. We're both anxious messes, for one, so that's not good. <laughs> you need somebody to balance you out. We got a divorce because we don't do well in airports together. And then I think I was giving you more anxiety with how much anxiety I had just getting in line to get on the plane. Yeah. I'm like, I need you to give me my license and my ticket right now because I have to have it in my hand the minute I walk up there so that I'm not fumbling through my bag and everybody getting mad at me and making me go to the back of the line and then we don't get a good seat. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your brain is just like a fucking spike pit. <laughs> you can't <laughs> make a right turn or left turn because you will get stabbed in the eye by a fucking yep. spike. Jesus Basically, Christ. How do you don't live? Don't forget those spikes. <laughs> we got the spikes on day one of our trip. Yeah, I don't know how I live. Um, I, I get so, so anxious. I don't know what it is. And our flight there was super bumpy, super bumpy. But we made it. We made it earlier than we thought we would, too. We both looked at each other like the plane was about to crash when we started descending and it started making different noises. <laughs> we, were, we were ridiculous. The noises. We were also incredibly uncomfortable. The noises those those planes made. Oh, my God. They it were gives unholy. me so much anxiety. They, oh, oh. God, they were awful. I'm sure everybody knows what a plane sounds like, and there are probably tons of people that fly away more often than we do. But it almost sounded for people that haven't flown in like two, three, four years. Yeah, it almost sounded sometimes like there was metal twisting, and I was like, "We're not mm, going to think that's about not it. supposed to sound like that." <laughs> We're not going to think about it. <laughs> and the news noise would come out and just stay, and you're like, "That that noise has been on for a while. Oh, what is my that God. noise?" <laughs> um. So. So you, wait. You are awful to experience the airport with. Yeah, you I'm are... not good in the airport. I'm really not. Yeah, hey, give me this. Like, give me you that. take Let's, off your, you take off your you belt. Do, this. Take a, do this. Take do out that. all of your do electronic like, devices. Where are you putting this? What are you doing? You have to take off your shoes. <laughs> it's like stop. Just stop. I'm so sorry. Enough. Just calm down. It's okay. Now we know. Now we know to leave you here. <laughs> now we know to drive at all costs. <laughs> Even if it's across the Atlantic. <laughs> Next time when we're driving into Puerto Rico, we will see 
the welcome sign, <laughs> welcome to Puerto Rico, and it'll say, how did you get here by car? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't give a fuck about the statistics that say that flying is safer than driving. I will never feel safer on an airplane than I do in my car. Never. Never. See, yeah, that's true. Especially since you're in never. control in your car exactly. and not on the plane. Exactly, yeah. Anyway, so we made it, though. <laughs> on, on the way there... Um, it, it, I always hate that feeling of taking off because it's like really fast and then you start taking off. And, and it's you're like, like you're on Tower of Terror in the bits where you're flying up out of the sea and you're suspended. And you're just waiting in that for the position. drop the Wait, entire time. Yes, the entire fucking time. What is it, like two and a half hours was it going there? It was only like two hours and ten minutes going. It was like two and a half coming back. It was it was longer coming back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was it was longer coming back. I remember. And it that. told us it was going to take us another hour, but then we. Yeah, like the flight was yeah. supposed to be like three hours, but it really wasn't. Um, w there was some turbulence. It wasn't really bad. It was just on the way there. Out. It wasn't really bad. On the way back, there was one moment where we both we had to pray to Jesus. So every <laughs> have it come to Jesus meeting. Especially going there, every time the the plane would shake or drop a little bit or whatever. I could just feel like my butt cheeks clenching, trying <laughs> to hold on to the seat. Just, it, it felt like almost like I had two pairs of hands just like trying to grab the seat underneath <laughs> me and nothing would catch. I was like, well, <laughs> I'm dying. I, I just felt like I was going to have a panic attack. I was so on edge the whole time. I couldn't even like put in my headphones and relax because uh, on the way back, we, we dropped at one point and I, I took out those headphones. I was like, Nope, I can't I can't sleep. I can't listen. I can't do anything. I'm just gonna sit here and listen to what the plane is doing. Oh boy. Yeah. See on on the sad. way there, I noticed that when we were coming down you could see like the incline of a pla of the plane went down. Like you could visibly see it. On the way there, you could see it like leaning upwards, like the nose was leaning upwards. And when it started going down you could see it like leaning a little bit down. And on our way back here, I just kept waiting for to see that incline down. I was like, as soon as I see that, I know we're about to land in like 10 or 20 minutes. And it never happened. I never saw that incline. But we did get to see like the edge of Florida. So that was cool when we yeah, were coming back because cool. it was really late at night. That was pretty cool. But anyway, the actual trip. So um, <laughs> guess what our first stop was? It was a no, fucking... No, no, wait, 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 no. wait. There was something else. There was? Yeah. What? Literally just on the flight? Every time I go to Puerto Rico, for some reason, somebody always tries to fight me at the airport. Nobody tried to fight you at the airport. She was, she she wanted, she was saying it loud enough so her husband oh, would notice. Oh, I forgot about that when we arrived, when we yeah. landed. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Last time I went, I walked into the duty free and I didn't know that you could only buy it the duty free when you're leaving, not when you're coming in. And I grabbed the bottle of whiskey. I was going to go pay for it. And the guy's like, are you coming or leaving? And I'm like, I'm coming. And he just snatches the bottle out of my hand. He says, That's I, the way to handle it. It's like, I can't sell this to you. And he just walked away. I'm like, really? Like, that, that, that's the way, you know, you treat people? Like, you know, that's not customer service. And then this time, I was at the baggage claim. And there was this lady holding a dog. Kind of like blocking the way with her husband in front of her. And her husband had their baby strapped to his chest. And I see my I see he pulls one of the suitcases and tells her to back up a bit so that other people could get in. And I see our suitcase rolling by and I tell her, excuse me, let me grab my suitcase. Because I mean, there were just swarms of people around this. And thing. she was just standing there in the fucking middle doing nothing. She wasn't even helping him. And I'm like, excuse me, let me grab the suitcase. And I said it in a pleasant tone in spanish and she said well i'm gonna need you to back up because i have a dog and a baby and i'm trying to get my suitcases too i'm like the fuck let me just get the fuck out of the way and let me grab the suitcase and the husband kind of like looks at me and he just looks back down i'm like fucking idiot you're trying to start shit in the fucking airport like how fucking when your husband's are the one you? handling it you're not helping and him. your husband's the one with the baby <laughs> strapped to the chest it's like the fuck is wrong with you 
Anyways, back to the trip. Back to the trip. Our very first stop was at Walmart because my super strict diet and needing to have special food that I could eat every day. Sadness. I was not prepared for how fucking lit and popping the Walmart would be at like 945 on a Thursday night. What the fuck was that? I they have, all tell me it's normal. Yeah, it was like Black you, Friday at, at the Walmart. I have told you before that it's been like one in the morning and me and my buddies would be drunk off our asses going into Walmart to buy more alcohol. Y'all are crazy. I mean, there were like swarms and swarms of elderly, young, middle-aged <laughs> families. Um, I, everyone. It was like literally Black Friday in that Walmart. No, it was like the Walmart by CP Housing. Old CP Housing on 535, that tourist Walmart. Oh, my God. It was like that Walmart. The one on 192? No, 535. I, I, don't, I don't know that it's one. It's before you get to 192. Okay, I don't know that one. It's, it's the, that Walmart's on crack. Oh, it is boy. on crack. If any of my CP friends listen to this, y'all know what I'm talking about. CP being college program. Anyway, uh, I was I was really overwhelmed. And of course, we ran into like his cousin because it's a small town like where I'm from. But um, so day one. Wait, you for- no. You forgot something. What did I forget? That happened at Walmart. Oh, I wasn't going to say it. Oh, well, did you you want to say it after you've gotten mad at me for bringing it up all these times? It's funny, but I just don't want you to tell my family about it. It's well, your family o- listens. Some of them, not all of them. You were trying to tell all of them what happened. I told the people you're cool with what mm. happened. <laughs> I know better than to tell your religious family what happened. I told non-religious people. Do you want to tell what happened? You need to tell your your listeners what happened. You tell them. You tell them. So we were about to leave. You little player. You were going to go grab some final stuff that you were missing. And I told you, it's like, hey, let me go check out the video game section, see what I can find. I'll be right back. And walking there, I heard a voice that I recognized. And I looked to the side, and I just see, like, this giant orange poof of orange poof of hair did she have orange hair when you were with her i wasn't with her we like messed when around you were doing things with her for like two weeks <laughs> and that's it did she have orange hair yes oh she did and like she was like bending over and like looking at something i saw her face i'm like nope and i just turned my hat <laughs> around stuck it down put my mask and like lifted my mask up some more and just ran to my no wife. remember we didn't have on masks that night Really? Yeah. We did not have on masks that night. Oh. Your mom and I wore masks when we went in there that second time. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Anyways, I stuck my hat down (laughs) as far as possible and I ran back to my wife because I did not want to see that person face to face. (laughs) I just, I I couldn't, I couldn't. Because I mean, when you're in my hometown, like you, you can't walk into Walmart and not run into somebody that you know in some sort of way, but I don't normally run into the people I slept with. Granted, I think I only slept with two people in that area. And now they're dead. Why am I saying this on <laughs> this podcast? Anyway, we don't need to go down that road. We can talk about sex toys, but this is getting too personal. <laughs> <laughs> um so then we yeah, we went to your parents' house, we unloaded all my sad groceries. And Karen got her first taste of no air conditioning. Hmm. Yay. Ain't it lovely? Uh, like crisp 90 degrees. <laughs> Refreshing <Woo>! 90 degrees. <laughs> but I, I will say it With is With an at 85, least... uh, uh, what is it, 85 proof of humidity? Her percent humidity. <laughs> percent whatever it's called. Yeah, that, you, I thought Florida humidity was bad. It ain't, it ain't got shit on that tropical <laughs> island humidity. It ain't you're got like, shit. You're like standing there not really doing anything and you're drowning and yeah, you don't know where dying. the hell the water is because you can't see it. It's I, all in I the will air. say it was at least like decently breezy most of the time we were there. Sort of. Anyway, so yeah. Um, I, 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 something that surprised me at Walmart, Walgreens, where every, everywhere we went mm-hmm. that had some sort of uh, Air conditioning? No. No. That too. <laughs> um, they had some sort of like magazines or books or whatever. 
everybody sold manga. What? You, you know how hard it was to find manga when I used to live there? Really hard. And now they have like fucking, um, what's it called? Uh, shelves and shelves and shelves of just straight up manga. They knew it was Comic-Con weekend. And not in Umakao, nobody goes to Umakao. So oh, yeah, because that was not not close to Comic-Con. Hell no, it's like an hour an away. An hour away, yeah. So, um, yeah, I got my first taste of no air conditioning and my husband being mean to me about the windows and how I didn't notice the window in the bathroom and telling me lizards was were going to get on me while I showered. <laughs> <laughs> no lizards got on me while I showered, to my knowledge. But I did take a cold shower literally every single time I showered while we were there. Me and too. it was so refreshing. You know how Yeah, like, it was refreshing until you got out of the shower. Yeah, and then you've you felt you had like you had to get back in to clean off the sweat that you accumulated just <laughs> from, from those getting two out, steps just out of the from shower. Getting out of the shower. <laughs> I was I was really, really not in any way, shape, or form prepared for that. I knew it in my head. But I was not prepared no, for the not. reality of it. I, I told you it's hot. Oh, I'm bad. spoiled. I'm spoiled as hell. I told you that um, when I had my apartment, I did not go out of my room. I lived by myself with my dog, and we were in my room the entire time with the AC on because we could not handle the heat. I totally understand. Did you ever cook? I don't know how you could ever cook. I did. And, did? and I used to make... Um, did you like have a fan blowing on you while you cooked or something? No. I used oh, to make God. stews, <gasps> too, because it was cheap and it was easy to do. So I would make like a chicken stew or a beef stew and just eat that over rice that I made in the microwave. And I would have to lock myself in the room after I cooked just to cool off. You live like a king now. Yeah, I kind of do. I kind of do miss those uh, stews and 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 shit. I don't like stew. I, you haven't had my chicken stew. I think you would like it. Well, then make it. I'll make After it after I have my gallbladder. I'll removed. make it one of these days. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's like sofrito and chicken and mm. beef bouillon mm. and uh, yeah, tomato after sauce. After I have my gallbladder removed with potatoes and beer. Oh it's, dear! Instead of water, it's just a whole can of beer. Okay, it's pretty great. Okay, all right. Well, day one. We did sightseeing and San Juan. Um, so first we went to... Uh, uh, Distrito T-Mobile, which is like a little... No, no. First we went to the fishing place. Oh, oh, in, in uh, Yabucoa. Yeah. It we was beautiful. We saw sardines and shit. It, it, it was pretty. And then we drove up into the mountains and that was beautiful. It was breathtaking. But yeah, then we went to the T-Mobile place. It's not a T-Mobile place. I was confused it's called the when your mom was suggesting places to go because it was all in Spanish. But I, f I recognized that she was saying we should go to whatever T-Mobile. And I'm like, Distrito why are we going to a T-Mobile store on vacation? I was so confused. <laughs> so it's like next to the convention center. And it's like this whole like strip, kind of like the Vegas it's strip. Like, it's like City Walk or yeah. Disney Springs. More City stuff, Walk than Disney like Springs. Yeah, because it's all restaurants, really. And it has a lot of restaurants. And we ate at one called Sasong. And that one was really, really good. I think uh, I think that was... Was that the best meal I had? Um, no, I don't think so. I think Arturitos was the best meal I had. It was Puerto really Rico. good food, but it our was. waiter was a bitch. That dude was he a was fucking awful. mess. He, he was, was so awful. This bastard. So <laughs> I wanted to, everybody who works there had to speak English because uh, it's a really popular touristy place. Yeah, right? it's, in, it's it's near Old San Juan. Yeah, so all the tourists it's are like there. It's like 10 minutes away from El Morro. Where the ships go in. Yeah. Um, so I asked him how their salmon was cooked. He said it's cooked in some butter and then thrown in the oven. I'm like, okay, do you have any olive oil? He said, no, we have canola oil. I was like, okay, well then could I just get it like cooked in as little butter as possible? I don't care if it's dry. And he just, he seemed to take that personally. This fucking bitch brought out this salmon that was amazing, mind you. That, so, but he didn't cook it, so he's not getting any credit for that. <laughs> so he said, here's your dry salmon and I gave you a little cup of olive oil to pour on it so it won't be dry. I'm like, 
You just fucking told me you don't have olive oil, and you literally bring me a full fucking cup of olive oil to drizzle <laughs> over my dry fish. I don't think he understood anything. I Anything swear to God. I, that salmon, though, there. it was amazing. It was really dry, but it was crispy and it was so flavorful. What was the stuff they Was it like chimichurri type stuff that they put on top of it? Probably. Oh my God. It was so good. And the rice and beans were really, really good. Um, but yeah, he was a little bitch. <laughs> Little bitch. <laughs> he was what? Also recommending IPAs to you? Yeah. And you don't even like, I don't IPAs. like IPAs. So so the thing is that I asked for uh Residente Calle 13, which is a, a Puerto Rican rapper. He has his own beer line now. And he has one called the Residente Triple, which is T R I P E L instead of T R I P L E. Was that intentional? I, I don't think so. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, make this dear. But the thing is that it has like triple uh-huh. the amount of malt that a regular. Triple. A triple <laughs> <laughs> amount of malt that a regular Pell. a malty beer has. And it's kind of like a, an alcoholic Malta India, which is a. a Puerto Rican like soft drink. Disgusting it is as amazing. hell. It is, the best it thing is in the repulsive. World. Um Ugh. and honestly that beer that beer kind of felt like a beer that I've been looking for for a very long time and I finally found it. And I'm kind of sad that they don't sell it here in the States. I am not going to Puerto Rico just to drink one beer. No, no. <laughs> not not quite worth the um, trip. Just and for a I beer. wanted to try the other one because he has a white one and it's kind of a, a, a an IPA. And I hate IPAs, and that one was kind of okay. Um, I wouldn't order it again to drink it, but if I had to drink it and that was the only thing that I had to drink, I wouldn't hate it the entire time because it was okay. And because I asked for that beer, he brought me an IPA, and I was like, oh, this is an IPA. I'm like, I don't drink IPAs. (laughs) He's like, well, the one you got is an IPA. I'm like, oh, I just want to try it. He's like, you sure you don't want this one? I'm like, I'm sure. (laughs) He, He... he was awful. When the food came, I told him, hey, let me get a white one. He's like, you still got some beer right there. I'm like, that's fine. Just bring me another one. It's like, now? I'm like, yeah, yes, now. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. And he waited until I finished my fucking beer so that he could bring me the other one. That's I'm ridiculous. Like, Dude, seriously? I just... Let me fucking oh, double fist them. I don't give a shit. I'm on vacation. I am the customer. I determine, Lord have mercy... And I I had um what was it uh kingfish fillets uh they had pickled veggies on top um and they had what what I had mampostia rice which is garlicky a little bit wet sticky it was very tasty oily has chunks of longanisa which is chicken sausage that rice was amazing and the kingfish was dry. It was definitely dry, but it was very flavorful. You could have taken my cup of olive oil and dumped on it. I should have. You should have. I should have. You really should have. Um, usually kingfish is uh, in Puerto Rico when you order it. They give you like a side of chimichurri to pour over it. They didn't here. They just put the pickled vegetables on top, which were like a couple of strands of onions and peppers, which were fucking delicious. They were awesome. But the uh, f- the fillets were, were pretty big. For and they were like eleven dollars. Like here, you would not even get half the size of one of those fillets, and it would cost you fifteen dollars. Yeah, true. So I was very happy about that because I picked the fuck out. Oh my god, that was so good. It was a very good meal. Yeah, that that place was definitely garbage, except for the waiter. That dude was trash. He was so bad. <laughs> so god, that dude. So bad. I, I don't. He couldn't understand anything because my mom started like telling him something and he just would not understand it at all like jesus christ dude so what happened afterwards so then we went to old san juan and i got to see all of the cats and all of the roosters um i've never seen that many roosters in my life before i grew (laughs) up in the south like with farms and shit we have cows though not not so much the roosters the roosters everywhere so in old san juan you saw the the Three starting Pokemon from Puerto Rico. The cats, cat, roosters, the iguanas, and, the, and the iguanas, and yes. The roosters. Yes. So yeah, we, we explored. I got to see the the city gates and the wall, and they all tried to convince me that um, people used to be thrown onto the spikes to kill them 
Uh, like I there's some, any some, of them. There's some sculptures that are just long spikes and they're right next to a wall and they're kind of like in throwing distance. So you could technically. technically throw a person onto those spikes. The iguanas were all around the spikes. Yeah, so the iguanas actually ate the people once they landed uh-huh. on the spikes. I mean, I I don't doubt that they would. They, but... they eat anything. Ew. They will eat anything. Ew. Now, in Old San Juan, there's this tradition where they have, like, these little push carts with um, some of those uh, water container dispensers that they use in, in basketball and football games. Um, and they have those filled with ice cream. And that is some of the best ice cream in the world because it is... It is not ice cream. It is like I was a about sherbet. to say, it's more like sorbet. Yeah. So um, the problem is that I think a company bought out all of those carts and they have their own people now working them and they make their own ice cream. And that ice cream was so bad. It was extremely salty. Well, the one I had was really sour. The one you had was very fucking sour. I had to keep spitting because I was drowning in my own saliva. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like glad. I was blow up my mouth, and you would just see like like saliva just fly out, like if it was missed. It, <laughs> it was so bad. It was, like how the fuck do you eat that? <laughs> it was really slimy. It was real, like mine was at least. It was really slimy. Like, I know sorbet is a different texture, but it was like sorbet texture was slime, like a slime coating. It was like jizz. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why mine was so salty. <laughs> I'm just glad that I didn't know about your flavor before because I thought it was only the mango, coconut, and passion fruit. Because if I'd known that they had your flavor, I would have made you order that for me. That, <laughs> that was, was that awful. Was pineapple strawberry. It that was shit so was bad. so fucking salty. It did not taste anything like pineapples or strawberries. Like, we bought regular, so I'm like, oh, I should have bought a large. And I started eating. And I'm no. like, no, this is for a regular, this <laughs> no. is way too much. <laughs> and your dad was like, should have gone with coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even try his. But he has like the large ice cream. He's just sitting there going to town. He finished that. <laughs> The whole thing. He's a yeah. he's a big um, promoter of the coconuts. And I'm like, are you like? Is it salty to you? He's like, no, it's fine. I'm like, <laughs> why is this salty? <laughs> I felt like that that uh, TikTok audio. Why is it spicy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh god. But so yeah. that was something that I was very excited about, and I'm like, I I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I had left that in my memories. <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, Crystal and William told me I had to try the beach ice cream, and, oh, it's so good. I'm like, oh, I mean, it's fine. It's okay. I wouldn't get it again. <laughs> no, no, I, unless it's at the beach, I wouldn't get it again, because uh, it used to be good. Yeah. Now it's, oh, boy, <laughs> that, oh, that was boy. some fucking experience. Oh I gosh. still can't believe how sour that was. It just like activated like my <laughs> my my what's it called? Sa- sal- salivary saliv salivary salivating. Sal- glass? Sal- it made you salivate. Yeah, I, I <laughs> your felt, saliva. I felt like a, a poisoned dog <laughs> from how oh, much God. drool was coming out of my <laughs> mouth. Um, and we looked around some more. We saw. I got to see the street with the umbrellas but it wasn't the umbrellas it was the butterflies because apparently they rotate what they have hanging up above the street yeah um and i got to see the pigeon park um and no pigeons pooped on me i'm happy to report but i also did not go get in the middle of all the pigeons like all those crazy people were doing yeah you know i'm not about touching the birds i don't want bird flu yeah i'm good i'm, I'm still kind of surprised that um, there were so many like homeless people all around old San Juan. Usually it's, it's like just a couple, but there was like an excessive amount of homeless people. Do you think it was because there was a ship? Um, no. A ton of tourists? Uh-uh. No? No, because they were like sleeping and just That's true. They weren't really around. haggling. Yeah. They weren't like asking for money or true. anything. Yeah. We so. saw a lot of homeless and, you know, they have a very distinct look, uh, different from the homeless here. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, they they they're they're different. Um, well, obviously they're Puerto Rican, so they they're gonna look different. But just like I don't know, I don't know. Uh, just I, I know distinct. I know exactly you know what, what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the ones here you see, they're kind of like down in their luck. Some over there looked kind of unhinged. Yeah. So it, it's real shame. 
um, That's sad. that fucking government won't do anything for these people that need help. Oh my gosh. Well, changing subject. Um, it was good Friday that day. Because it, it was Easter weekend. Yeah. Um, and your mom and I unplanned. went into... <laughs> that was completely unplanned. Your mom and I went into one of the big cathedrals where they were doing a Good Friday service. Um, and they, they like had the doors open for the public so you could walk in and see the cathedral. I don't know how... I don't know how anybody could worship, worship Jesus in there with it being as hot as hell. Hot as hotter than hell! There was no airflow in that church, even with the doors open. Oh, well, it's man. A, it's, it's a Catholic church. They got to simulate where their congregation was oh, going. Oh, my God. <laughs> All of the guilt. All of the guilt. We got to circulate the guilt and the heat. Yeah, the, the, the guilt is yeah. what makes it so hot. Oh, man. Yeah. It was really miserable, but beautiful. Beautiful, but miserable. I walked out of that building. I had to go buy a bottle of water. Yeah. Like, I can't do this. Yeah, give me $2. It's I need hot. water. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking hot. Um, Not, so when we were leaving old San Juan, we were walking, and you're like, oh, look, tripleta. And I'm like, what? And I see I see the, the food truck, and it says Tico tripleta. I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot that place existed. I used to eat so many tripletas from there. And... I'm like debating it in my dad's like, why don't you just get one? I'm like, all right, here, hold this. Because it had been a while since we'd eaten and we'd walked mm-hmm. off all of our food by that point, basically. I just run over there and like, I, I, I look at the lady and like, they're just both standing there, the lady and the guy that run the truck. And I'm like, uh, how, how long does it take to get a tripleta? She's like, I can give it to you right now. I'm like, yeah, give me one. <laughs> He's like, with everything. I'm like, with everything. He said, do you want something to drink? I'm like, no, I'm good. I just want the tripleta. And that shit was like packed. That it was, was massive. I'll definitely put it in the photos. Um, the, I didn't even take a bite of it. And, it was so sad. Uh, my mom did. She she liked it. And she's like, oh, let me get a bite. And I'm like, wait. And I took a bite and I gave it to her. It's like, I just ate bread. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, let me get another bite. I'm like, fine. You can take the first one of this half. <laughs> um, but that one's... Uh, that. That's a good tripleta, but it's not like the real tripleta because the real tri- tripleta, like I said, is three different proteins. It's pork, beef, and chicken. This one was pork, ham, and chicken. So it's missing the beef. You know what I just realized? What? We forgot something else about our first night. What? Your food. What about my food? Your food that you had on the first night. The crystal oh, the went and picked up food? for you. Yes. It was we didn't cold, get a picture of it, though. And I ate a whole avocado with it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I left like a spoonful that I ate the, the next day for dinner. Because Puerto Rican Chinese food is different. It's very different. Than American Chinese food. <laughs> than any other kind of Chinese uh, food. Yeah. It's Oh, it's so good. Uh I loved it so much. Pollo al ajillo, French fries, fucking They give rice. you French fries. Yeah, they give you French fries. That's weird. And I put a whole avocado in it. Oh, my God. It was so good. Was it one of the big avocados? No, it was one of the little, little one. Mexican avocados. Like half avocado. Like avocados from Mexico. Oh, my God. One of those. <laughs> yeah. So then uh, we, we went back to the house. And it's a long drive, so we didn't get back till fairly late. We didn't do anything. We didn't. We were going to go out and get dinner, but then we realized that sushi is still something I really shouldn't eat because <laughs> there's avocado and cream cheese in every single roll. And I've I've been so careful. Especially in Puerto Rico. I know I can eat some things here and there, but God, I've been so careful. So especially in Puerto Rico, sushi is very avocado, avocado and, cream and cream cheese, cheese heavy. heavy. Yeah. 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 They so, don't... I don't think I've ever had... Uh, nigiri or sashimi or anything in Puerto Rico. Oh, sashimi. Yeah, I did, I've had sashimi, but nigiri by itself it is n- really ca- kind of not a thing. Yeah. Um, but I chilled in the hot tub. You didn't. You got eaten up by mosquitoes. It's okay. I got eaten up by mosquitoes later. Yeah, but no, that was not happy with the mosquitoes. Um, the next day we went to Cialis. And Arecibo, we also went to Santurce to a, a bookstore. And we... Yes, that was the first place we went because we were going to go through San Juan to get to the, all the other places that we needed to go. Or did we technically have to go through it? No. But it it was sort of on the way. It was easier to sort go of through on it the way. Yeah, sort than of. 
it, we wouldn't have been able to do it at, at any other point in the trip. No, um, no, we would have had to go very out of the way and at any other point. Because I don't remember if I mentioned this before we went, but one of my biggest goals was to <laughs> go to a bookstore and get the Lord of the Rings in Spanish. Um, and nobody thought that I was going to succeed in this task. But I fucking did. I did. <laughs> it may be movie cover paperbacks, but they're in Spanish. And that's good enough for me. I guess. Good and enough for me. you also got, me. what is it, Jane Yeah, I got Austin? lots of Jane Austen books in Spanish that are also illustrated and they're really cute. And you got um, anxious people in Spanish? I did get anxious people in Spanish and I tried to convince your mom to take it with her on her trip, but she said she'd be sleeping. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she she probably slept the whole way. She left like like one in the morning. That's okay. She might not think the rabbit in the bathroom is funny. She might. <laughs> she might. She might think it's very stupid, but yeah. she, she find it kind of funny. It's very good. Very uh, sad. Very funny. Very funny. Especially everything you told me on that episode. I think it was episode three of the podcast. Yeah, it was an, <laughs> it was an early really episode and one of our most listened to. Yeah. Especially there for a while. I'm like, why is everybody listening to anxious people? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> why that episode? Um, of all the episodes. But we, you bought so many books. You spent what? Shh, like, we're not going to talk about how much money was more spent. More than $200. We're not going to talk about how much money was spent. Um. But we part of it was mine because I found three Junji Ito books uh, that I had never seen, and uh, they were at a good price. Um, tax is like eleven percent, which is complete and total horseshit. But I opened up a rewards account and already have ten dollars worth of credit with the store for if and whenever we go back. <laughs> <laughs> if and whenever we will go back. I just guess. Whenever we go back. So we, we should just get your aunt to rent a villa at Palma del Mar and we'll just stay with them because they have central air. <laughs> AC. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I was going to say uh, this the store had a cute little cafe um, with like coffee and tea and stuff. And all of their drinks were author themed. Um, one of them, unfortunately, was the wizard bitch. I wish it was just Tolkien, but we can't make things simple, can we? And of course, Crystal got the wizard bitch tea. But I got the Jane Austen tea, <laughs> so and it damn. was <laughs> one of the tastiest things I've ever had in my life. It was raspberry and peach. Oh, man, it was so good. For tea, it was kind of good. It was really good for tea. I don't like really tea. Good. For tea, it was kind of good. It was just an aesthetically pleasing bookshop. It was awesome. It yeah. was a fun experience. Yeah, And then, and then we went to Cialis. To a coffee museum. Was that in Cialis? Cialis, yeah. Yeah. Which I, I did not care for. At you were all. in a bad mood. Yeah, I was because I was trying to take. Wait, a nap. no, we went to the other place first. Oh, the overlook. The place on the side of the road. Yeah. yeah. And I had kiwi lemonade, and it was amazing. It was pretty good. It was so good, but I thought you were going to share with me. I would never have ordered that huge thing if you were not going to share with me. You drank it all before you got back to the I car. I did, but I wouldn't have ordered such a big one. If I, I'd known, I have just I was just tired and not hungry. His cranky was, ass went back to the truck and sat there. I was very annoyed All and alone. overheated, so I just went back into the truck and just sat there. Then we went to the coffee museum, mm-hmm. which I did not care for at all. Either. But they have really good coffee that we had had before that your parents brought to us. It was cool that we bought um, none for ourselves. <laughs> I did wish that it was like bigger and air conditioned. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but but nearby, like just the fact that it was only two rooms, I wanted more. Eh, I, I, it was cool though. I mean, so I like stuff like that. Like the bookkeeping shit was kind of cool, seeing all those old records from like the '30s and shit. But and all the stuff. All the the interesting thing that happened there was the painting. At... No, we gotta talk about the baby goat first. Oh, you talk about the baby goat. We went into the little animal section. Yeah, because the coffee a museum. Because the coffee museum has a petting zoo. <laughs> it's not a petting zoo. You're not supposed to touch them. <laughs> but they had a donkey and some goats and some ducks. Um, and there was a little baby goat that had gotten out of his little enclosure and he was trying to get back into his enclosure. It was so cute. He looked like Luna. He was really stupid and lost. <laughs> Real stupid. Oh, boy. Especially lost. Very lost. Very, very lost. So there was a, a funeral home nearby. Yes. And oh, had, my God. And they had this painting of a dead child 
on a table and everybody else was partying around it. Yeah, he was like laid out like a feast on the table. Yeah, with food and, and everything everybody's around partying. Them. Yes. Yeah, there's like it's like meats. a charcuterie board <laughs> around the dead child. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your charcuterie with a side of dead child. <laughs> have you tried the dead child yet? <laughs> the iguanas have. Oh. He's, he died at the ripe age of seven. That's exactly when the meat is at the tenderest. No, nope. I can't. I it's too much. So the thing is, like, I walk by with my sister and I look at her and I'm like, Crystal, have you seen this? He's like, what? And I start telling her the story about the pain thing. And she's like, I had never noticed that before. And I had seen that painting a million times. I'm like, yeah, isn't it fucked up? The painting looks like they're celebrating the child being dead. And then we got into the car and we started talking about it. And my mom starts pulling out all this information about the painting. And it turns out that it's a, what is it, West, West African uh, yeah, I think so. custom uh, that whenever a child dies, they would lay him out and people would celebrate that the child would not have to go through the trials of the world and would just get to pass on into the afterlife to be with their family. And uh, the fucked up part is that it was part of the custom to also rent out the child. Yes. Body. Yes. And they would rent it out, let's say, to a bar or a restaurant or something, and the parents would go with the dead child and... Everything that the pants would consume would be paid for by the patrons who would come to celebrate that the child was dead. Basically. Um, I was so disturbed. And like that, that's kind of like a tradition that is no longer done in Puerto Rico. Um, but but it's it, apparently this funeral home's mascot. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's their logo. Their, yeah. their selling point. <laughs> Because in all of its vans and like funerary cars and whatever. On their front windows. On their front windows. Yeah. They have it like plastic. It was everywhere. It. Yeah. Uh. Uh, but that that practice is kind of like ingrained into Puerto Rican roots. Like because Puerto Ricans are part from Africa. Um, You're from everywhere. Yeah, we're we're fucking mutts. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're we're Spaniards and Taino and African. We're special. No, we're mutts. <laughs> Basically, um, yeah. So that was that was. I did not know that part about renting out the body. That, that was really disturbing. I was like, whoa, <laughs> really <laughs> this disturbing. This world is sick. <laughs> so then we continued driving up into the mountains, and we had lunch at this. Like hole in the wall place. No, that, it was um, a house on a cliff. It was a house on a cliff. <laughs> yeah, not a hole in the wall, house on a cliff. Um, like the only thing not on the cliff were the first two steps. <laughs> Lord. So basically, um, and I'll I'll post pictures of this too. But we sat up at the bar that overlooked the mountain and valleys and river and. So the river is called Mana- Manuatabong. Manuatabon. Yeah, my cousin uh, Maelo, who apparently listens sometimes. Hey, Maelo. Um, Hello. Told me the name of the river, and it's called Manuatabon because apparently he lives like two minutes away from that from that restaurant. So we well, he were, lives in the mountains. Yeah, yeah, we were very really close. way up in the mountains. Yeah, we were very close. He to had a long house. ass drive to the party. He did. Very long drive. He did from Ooh. to the party and back. That sucks. Yeah. But um, so yeah, there we had. I had grilled chicken uh, with like peppers and onions and rice and beans because that's all I ate the whole time. Chicken and rice and beans or fish and rice and beans. So the lady's like, oh, just chicken and rice and beans. I'm like, just put vegetables on top of it. Give her something extra. (laughs) Give her something. Some substance. (laughs) Just give her something extra. I felt like she felt bad for me. She kind of did. Did you explain to her why? No. No. no I, we didn't explain. She's like, just chicken and rice. I'm like, just, just, just put some. some and I got to taste uh, one of your mom's plantains, which was nice. And I took like the teeniest, tiniest little drop of mayo ketchup to go with it. Yeah. Tiniest little drop. Those, I don't know what was really garlicky. I don't know if it, the, they put like some sort of oil or something on top of the uh sweet plantains after they're fried uh because they were very garlicky and i know it wasn't the the mayo ketchup 
but they were so good. They were amazing. So I had a uh, stewed goat with <laughs> rice and beans. Those and rice and beans were fried amazing. Plantains. The stewed goat was insane. It was so good. Think about at my mom kept asking me, like, why the hell did you learn how to eat goat? Like, how did you learn how to eat? Who showed you how to eat goat? I like, I look at her, it's like, who the fuck taught me how to eat octopus and calamari? And she looks at me, he's like, it wasn't me. I was like, I know it wasn't you. It was me just eating random shit. <laughs> Bless it. And like, she just, she was just so surprised that I was eating. I was like, do you want to try it? And he's like, making a face i'm like do you want to try it and he's like yeah i'll try it so i gave her a little bit she's like that is disgusting <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it's actually really good <laughs> i really like this because it was it's gamey it's a little bit funky it's 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 not chewy it was very very tender that sounds awful and the, you're the, not selling it well the thing is that they don't take the bones off the meat when they stew it so all that marrow comes out of the bones and it just seeps into the the skin and the and the broth and all that and it is just so so amazing. It, it's it's a little bit one note, but it is a good note. It it was. It's all that matters. It was very very. Yeah, good. I'm not gonna have anything really brilliant to say about any of my food because it was all the same. Your chicken was good. It was good. It was very good. It was grilled really nicely. It had a nice char. Say that on chopped all the time. It has a nice char. <laughs> yeah. no, it was really good. Those rice and beans were bomb. They were so flavorful. Yeah, they were. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I, I got pissed. Like, I understand more now why you want rice and beans so much if that's the rice and beans that you were used to because it's so flavorful. No, I just. So good. I just run out of stuff to eat, so. I just, rice and beans. <laughs> just. I haven't had rice and beans in like three years. Let me have some right now. <laughs> um, the uh, Crystal ate her food. I don't remember what she got. I know she had rice and beans because you ate the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, she just left like all the rice and beans. I'm like, I'll, I'll just eat it. And I got pissed off at the chair because I was super uncomfortable. Because every time I'm in a tall chair. Bar stools. It was a bar stool. Mm -hmm. I, I get super uncomfortable. And they were like bucket bar stools so uh, all they i remember weird. is like the corners were like digging into the back of my thighs and i just stood up and i just ate and ate and ate and kept shoveling food into my mouth and i was leaving the dream it was raining we were getting yeah i was about to say i got a little bummed at one point because it started raining and it was raining a little too hard and we were getting wet so they had to close the nice windows that we were able to look out of and we i sat there and ate in the dark for <laughs> part of the meal <laughs> It was real it's, gloomy outside. It's, it's funny because like I went, I, I finished eating and I went to wash my hands in the bathroom and like I turn on the sink and I look to the side and I see like this straight line of water, kind of like a shower just coming from the roof. Did you have a literal open hole in your bathroom? No, no. It, it was like leaking through the roof, oh. but it was leaking so bad that it was like a, a like pressured <laughs> there was an open hole in the ladies restroom really there was no, there was a window but it was not a window that was closed in any way shape or form so like i washed it my was hands. a little rectangular cutout <laughs> jesus i wash my hands and i come out and i tell my dad and my dad's like oh i'm gonna go to the bathroom use the toilet i'm like just be careful because you might take a shower trying to pee <laughs> <laughs> he's like what i was like you'll see <laughs> 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 uh, but it, it was it was it has such a nice view, and the food was amazing. Um, I, I would definitely go back there. It was so tasty. Uh, it was very, very so good. So tasty. Like my dad had like chicken sausage longanisa, and it was really, really good too. Like he gave me a piece, and I was like, "Shit, I want more." <laughs> it was that good. So then, because it was raining, we had a choice before us of what we were going to do with the rest of our day, and it was either go to a waterfall that was up in the mountains where it was still raining. Or go somewhere that Crystal showed me pictures of and I really, really wanted to go because I was determined to get an epic reel that has somehow failed me um, on this trip. And this looked like the perfect place to get that reel. And it was. Even if it has not done very well, it's still perfect. So if you would like to see the reel, it would mean a lot to me if you would go look at my Instagram, A Novel Kingdom, Go to the Reels tab, 
and go to the one with the black copy of The Hobbit in front of the ocean. Okay? It would mean a lot to me. Do you have the $5? Are you seriously about to make me pay for promoting myself? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm serious. Oh, anyway. $5. Oh, God. We're already an hour. At an hour. Um, <laughs> so, we went to Cueva del Indio. Cueva del Indio. Cueva del Indio. There you go. Yeah. We went there. First, we saw the Christopher Columbus statue because, yay, colonization. Uh, okay. So, Christopher Columbus was a massive piece of shit. A but that statue is pretty cool. <laughs> a colonizing slaver and, and just a fucking terrible human overall. Yeah. But that statue is very impressive. It is. The craftsmanship is very impressive, even though he is a, a sack of shit. He yeah. was a sack of shit. He doesn't deserve the statue. No. But it's a cool statue. Yeah, it was big. I was like, oh, this shit, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah. It's maybe not the best time to... Like, if, if they'd done it before, you know, if it had been made back during his time, like the Statue of Liberty, I don't know. Anyway, because it's a new thing. It was yeah. like... It's, it's like it's not a historical statue by any like, means. It's like ten years old or yeah. something like that. So we saw the statue, and then I did not understand what this place was at all. I had no understanding because we didn't sit through the whole presentation that the family in front of us got. Because Crystal was like, "I got this. I know what we're doing," <laughs> and I was not prepared. <laughs> For the panic attacks that I had going into this. Oh, man. <laughs> you had a panic attack for no reason. Shut up. <laughs> it's not funny. It was very funny. It's not like, funny. Okay, so, I'm entitled to my struggle, okay? So it's an overlook, right? You walk a little bit, bit on the beach and you get to it and it's just like volcanic rock all the way up. It's really spiky and high. And not safe to walk on. And it's an overlook, and it's filled with mosquitoes. Filled with fucking mosquitoes like you wouldn't believe. And it, it's like if you take a wrong step, you're just going to twist your ankle and probably Die. St get stabbed with one of the sharp rocks Die. beneath your feet. Um, or, or if you you slip somewhere, you might actually die, <laughs> fall into the water and crack your head on a rock or something. Yeah, like all those crazy children, that their parents weren't even watching yeah. them. And like there's like holes. Yeah, that you could point. literally fall through, through several feet and like impale yourself on another rock. Yeah. Um, so that, that was kind of scary. But the part kind where you, of. you were having a panic attack in the easy part. And then when you got up top where all the holes and everything where you were like prancing around and shit. I wasn't prancing around by any means. I was just more comfortable than I was, but still not comfortable. But let me tell you. So like you walked up to this one area and there was like this little like alcove where the waves were crashing up. And it was beautiful. Beautiful. But then they climbed all the way to the top and they're like, oh, you got to do it. You got to come up here. You got to see this. Blah, blah, blah. Like nothing is going to be worth climbing all the way up there. Literally nothing. Oh, my God. I almost shit my pants when I got up there and saw the view. <laughs> I, it was so <laughs> worth it. I, If I had not been eaten alive by mosquitoes, I probably would have cried and like prayed or something. I don't know. It was so like it was like the movies. Where you finally go over that hill and... You see the valley. Yeah. Except it was a, a ridge line it was down the so coast. It was so beautiful. With like archways and oh all that crazy my shit. God. It was very pretty. I didn't know, didn't so know that that existed beautiful. in Puerto Rico. I mean, just breathtaking. Breathtaking. That was definitely like my highest moment of the trip. Yeah. For my, yeah, Probably like for the, you, the yeah. biggest highlight, I guess yeah. you could say. That was... Breathtaking. Um, there, when we went all the way up to the top, I was like walking because I wanted to see like the edge down. And like I looked down and I looked to the side and I see a, a crack on the rock. And I followed the whole crack with my eyes all the way. And I'm like the crack ran behind me. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so <it was> like, <laughs> slowly moved back. Oh man. The thing is that over the past few years, there have been a lot of really bad tremors Volcanoes, in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Not volcanoes, earthquakes, sorry. Yeah, tremors. Volcanoes. <laughs> they, they, have, they haven't been earthquakes. They've been tremors. They've been pretty bad. but And uh, a lot of these natural formations have been destroyed. Like one of them they wanted to go to, which is like Cueva, uh, Cueva Ventana, which is a oh, the one that's closed? window cave. That one is closed down because they're cleaning it out because the tremors destroyed it. That's terrifying. Yeah. 
So it, it's basically, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so it's a good thing we went and saw that there because there could be a tremor there tomorrow and that shit is going to be gone. And um, there was an area that your dad and sister actually walked down into mm -hmm. where there were like Indian Yeah, there was kind of like this, this little like three feet. It wasn't three feet. It was like four feet wide, but it was like a three feet gap uh, that you had to walk along to get down some natural formed steps so that you could go into a cave where there's actual like drawings made by the Tainos. In that I would have loved cave. to see that, but I did not trust my balance to get through the little strip. I, I wouldn't have let you go because I knew yeah. you were going to fall and die. Yeah. I. And then we would have had to bury you in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. They don't really do cremations in Puerto Rico. No. I want to take my ashes to New Zealand. And just flush it down the toilet or something? No! Oh. No. Anyway. So that was beautiful. That was breathtaking. Oh, so gorgeous. So then we went to a mall. <laughs> We, we go, oh, we go yeah. from this breathtaking moment to a mall. <laughs> yeah, because I, I wanted to find... To, you, I wanted yeah, to go you to wanted to go to a video store. game store, which is only fair, because I got to go to my bookstore, even though you were terribly disappointed and outraged by I, your I'm always outraged. video game store. Every time I go into a video game store and I see them pushing uh, copies, repros and shit, for the price of originals, and when the the fucking cases and everything are very clearly printed in a fucking paper printer and they're pushing them for the real price of what a real one goes for, that pisses me the fuck off. Especially when you go and you see, oh, this game is $10. They're selling it for 40 That's insane. That pisses me off. And they, they had nothing. They had just had a bunch of fucking nothing games. That you can find everywhere, and uh, it's like I'm I'm done. I don't, I don't want to deal with this. Like, it just put me in a bad mood. After I was already in a kind of bad mood, because it was too hot. Yeah, and then we had our most authentic Puerto Rican meal ever, Fuddruckers. <laughs> yes, Fuddruckers. <laughs> Obviously, I am being sarcastic, but this was the first like real risk that I took. But I got a turkey burger, so. With blue cheese. The big, yeah, the biggest risk I took was probably with the blue cheese and the bun. That bun was buttered to the high heavens. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it was very good. And then we went home and dropped off your mom and sister, and we went to the farm in the dark. And I thought it was really cute, but it was dark. <laughs> so I didn't really get a real feel for it until the next day. Where we had the party. Yes, we chilled for the first part of the day because somebody needed to catch up on some rest because he was real cranky mm -hmm. as fuck. And then we went to a big party with the whole family. Mm -hmm. A lot of the family. A lot of family. A lot of family. A lot of family. You a met, lot of people. You met my last uncle that you hadn't met yet from my On dad's your dad's side. side, yeah. And you met a whole bunch of people from my mom's side. Yeah. Yeah. Did I meet? The rest of her brothers and sisters, except mm. Evelyn? Evelyn? I think so. Was it the rest? I think so. It's hard to keep track since there's so many. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, there were there were a ton of people there. Got to meet some of your friends. Ate some good food. Your dad made carnitas. No. No. What did he make? <laughs> he Not make carnitas. Carnitas, carnitas are Mexican. No, no. What did he make? What Car was it? Carne frita. Carne frita. <laughs> hey, carnitas. I... <laughs> I don't know the difference. It's all... Carn to me. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're wrong. Uh, carne fritas. Carne frita. Not carnitas. Not carnitas. Whoops. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so we we ate a lot and I drank I a lot. I ate fish and rice and beans. No, I ate, yeah, fish and rice and beans. And a piece and of salad. And a piece of carnita. Yeah. A carne frita. You have me doing it too. Fuck. <laughs> I was about to say, you said it's not carnita. No. <laughs> that red meat that I wasn't supposed to eat. 
Oh man, that, that fried pork. Poor oh, that's pork. Never mind. That fried pork I wasn't supposed to eat. That's so good. Oh god, uh, it's so good. And I, I got so to walk through and see everything that your dad grows. See, I tell you that you were having a panic attack in not the right place because the farm is much more harder to walk in. Than oh, I was place. having a little bit of a panic a- panic attack there, but I was I was going to be more embarrassed having a panic attack there than I would have been on the rocks. Like when we walked over that rock in the little creek at the farm under the, the breadfruit tree, mm-hmm. that's more dangerous than any of those places that we went in La Cueva del Indio. I was freaking out there too. I just kept it under wraps. I was like, oh, you're walking here without... And I was in my all... sandals. Like you're walking here without any problems and you were freaking the fuck out over oh, there? I was like, what's wrong up. with you? Shut up. Everything is so hilly. Yeah. And it was crazy seeing those windmills that are like destroyed. And your dad literally has a piece that he kept as a souvenir <laughs> <laughs> that blew onto his property. Yeah. It's crazy. But the views from that place. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you got the Just rainforest. Breathtaking. Across. That's somewhere I definitely want to go on the, the next trip next time we'll go to the rainforest speaking of the rainforest and seeing the rainforest and driving past the rainforest we had an exciting event on the way to the party oh a very exciting event the iguana so we're just driving along the highway with your mom i don't think i've ever been in the car with your mom driving before no ever you haven't i have n- oh god <laughs> <laughs> love you nelly <laughs> But, um, oh boy, all of a sudden, Crystal and I hear Chris and Nellie, like, freaking out in the front seat, and we're like, what's happening? And sure enough, there is a giant-ass fucking iguana crossing the highway. Think, like, I-4. There's an iguana. (laughs) It's not I-4. It's It's more like 417 in the middle of the night. (laughs) Okay. Okay, it's like 417. But basically, there was an iguana passing into our lane. And there was another car next to us, and she couldn't get over. And um, we were all screaming, screeching. Crystal you were and I all were screeching. <laughs> Crystal was covering her eyes. Nellie was screeching too. What? She closed her eyes oh, as she God. drove over it, and Chris was like, "Yes!" It was. <laughs> you even like fist pumped. It was, that thump, thump. Oh, it was awful. It was a really hard thump thump. Yeah. Oh man, it was because God, she was just going so fast. There was no way it's, to I, just I still stop. can't believe that she just closed her eyes and held on oh, to no, your eyes. She just did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she did the same panic fear she does every time she's on a roller coaster. She closes like, her eyes. And closes her on. eyes, tense up and like death grip yeah, whatever she, she has like, in front of her. She was all <laughs> You know, scrunched up. Oh, boy. It was... Yeah, that was a big thump thump. I'm surprised it didn't ruin all the food in the back seat. <laughs> I, I hit one oh. once. When I had my Scion, I had a Scion XB. And it was in Cagua on the way to San Juan. There was one walking off right in front of the uh, the toll plaza. And I could not go anywhere, so I just floored it. It was like, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it fast. I hit it with Ooh. both wheels. I look back in the mirror and it's just spinning oh, on the oh, floor. Oh, no. Stop. I'm like, yeah, okay, I know at Crystal least it's dead. Back. Oh, God. How painful. But yeah, the party. It was real fun. It was really long. There were a lot of people. I don't people very well, especially not when I don't speak the language. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle with the peopling. Yeah. And because there were so many people, I couldn't like really latch on to... Anyone. Anyone. Yeah. I think I probably latched on to Crystal more than anybody else. Yeah. But that's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so the next day we went to the beach. We did. Wait, that night, uh, that night I, I was drunk. touched. Touched? Tips, tipsy? Drunk? Not drunk. You were really, really tipsy. Yeah. Really tipsy. Yeah. And I, we talked. With my mom the whole time. Because your way. dad passed the fuck out when we got back to the house. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Granted, he did a lot of work that day. Yeah, he did. <sighs> so, yeah. So, we, we had some serious talks, and it was all better afterwards. Right? Are you, no? Is that all you're going to say? Yeah, I'm not going to go into the details of it. Yeah. 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 You had very open conversations. Way more than you ever would sober. Yeah. Yeah. Way more. 
You talk a lot when you've had alcohol. A lot? Yeah. You talk a lot more to people you don't talk a lot with, if that makes sense. I guess. You're a chatterbox. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Then the next morning, we went yeah, to the we're beach. We just talking about, like, family oh, stuff and, and, like, things that she should do and, like, how she should just enjoy life now that she's older and doesn't have any kids that she's responsible for. Um, basically that. Just, like, tell her to have fun. Because any moment she could fall down the stairs and crack her neck. Because those stairs are slippery. God, they are They're really slippery. slippery. <laughs> I feared for my life every time I got out of the shower. I feared for my life every time I stepped on those stairs. Because there was one point where I had on my socks because I didn't like walking around on the tile without anything on my feet. So I'd put on my socks and I was like, nope. <laughs> trying to go down those stairs. No, I'm I like, was, I'm going to die. I was bare feet, just Woo! barely woken up, going downstairs. And like, I could feel like my life. Like, Flashing before your eyes. Like my life would like touch me in the back of my head and be like, hey, I'm important. Get a good grip on this step. Yeah. <laughs> Every single step. Yeah, no, no. It's like one bad step and you lose me. No, no, no. But, um. But yeah, yeah then... no, basically that's it. Yeah. Have, just enjoy yourself more yeah. and whatnot. Then we finally went to the beach. Yep. And I was infatuated with the clear water. I did not get it. My husband would not get in the water with me. But you know what? I, I did enjoy it because I just sat there. And, and listened to podcasts. And the shade and listened to Codex the entire time we were I there. I hate you. And that was pretty great. That's okay. That water was perfect. Perfect. I had to pee on an anthill. What? The bathrooms were closed. And you like, peed outside? Yeah, like Hubby. behind the wall. Oh my god. There was an anthill I peed on it. You could have been arrested for public indecency. By who? There was no cops in the oh beach. Oh my god. Uh, what if somebody took a picture of you peeing on the anthills? Animal well, I cruelty. Hope, I hope they enjoy it. Oh lord. So then um, I got my one alcoholic beverage of the entire trip mm. on the last day. And it was not good. No, it was good. I liked to it. To me, it wasn't. I got a peach mojito, and it was awesome. I got a mango mojito, and it was not good. Well, that's because you got mango. Mango's it's disgusting. because I, I don't like mojitos. Oh, my God. It was really good. It, really good. It was from Mojito Lab in Luquillo. Uh, apparently, they they have really good mojitos. I wouldn't know because I don't like mojitos. So I... They put so much mint. I don't like that mint. Like That's that. what a mojito is. You shouldn't have ordered one. Why did you order one if you don't like mojitos? Because everybody's like, oh, they're so good. They're so good. Like, well, but if not. you know that you don't like the components of a mojito, then you shouldn't order it. Like, I thought it would have been oh, different. Lord. Anyway, it was very tasty. Very, very tasty. And then we had um, the most disappointing meal of the entire trip. What was it? Um, uh, Maison, whatever. Oh, Maison. Yeah. Okay. I don't care if I ever go back to that place. I'm not a big fan. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan either. Not a big fan at all. No. I mean, I, I do like the textures, just there's no flavors. Like, the, the textures of the, the toasted bread, like, the meats are good, and, like, the... the My chicken the coleslaw, was rubbery. The coleslaw feels great. It has a nice crunch, but... It's tasteless. Yeah, I got a salad and it was, it just tasted like lettuce. It was supposed to taste like lettuce, vinaigrette, chicken, and cranberries and cheese. And it didn't. Nope, just tasted like lettuce and rubbery chicken. And rubbery chicken. Yep. That's a shame. It was pretty bad. Pretty bad. And then we left. Mm Mm-hmm. We bought some quesitos, Mm -hmm. which are uh, puff paste, phyllo dough pastry stuffed with sweet cream cheese and melted sugar on top. We visited your grandparents. Yep. They had. They were very happy that we visited them because they were. It was my grandma's birthday. Birthday. Mm-hmm. And we left. We got and on the plane. Left. Oh, we bought ninety dollars worth of alcohol and we left. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, in the duty free store. We uh, we bought rum. I don't drink rum. I don't even know why I let them convince me to buy rum. That's okay. The once in a lifetime thing, it's fine. Yeah. We'll try it. We'll know for next time if we don't like it. See, if I were a Johnny Depp fan, I would have taken a shot of rum when he would he won. Why is the case. rum always gone? Has he won the case? I think he did. I'm not sure. I didn't has he? Have they made a decision? I don't know. I didn't think they did yet. Have that poor they? man. I, I don't care. I still think he, he he's hiding something. I don't think so. I think he is. I don't think You he's... haven't watched any of it because you don't like him. Yeah, I don't think he's a good person. There's something about him. About, he's about an him. addict. He's struggled. 
He is. It's not that. There's just something about him He's that rubs me. He's a strange little man. That rubs me the wrong way. Well, like, you're rubbed wrong. the wrong way, but you don't know these people. I don't you, know. N- none of us know these people. Well, to know. fucking Marilyn Ma- I never liked Marilyn He's Manson. It turns out he's a fucking creep. That doesn't mean anything. You just get so stuck in your head mm. with your biases. So I'm, I'm rarely wrong about people. Oh my god! Very rarely wrong you, about yeah, people. You want to you want to get into this conversation about who you're wrong about? I know who I'm wrong about. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you don't want to have this conversation on air because no. you never know who could listen. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But Johnny Depp's not listening. Oh my god. <laughs> If Johnny Depp were listening, we'd be living in a very different Imagine, like, tomorrow way. I get an email from a Mr. Depp, and he's like, fuck you, Chris. Suing us for Night- $5 million for Nightmare defamation of character. Night- uh, Nightmare Before Christmas was the best movie ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> are you he's not about? even in that one. <laughs> pirates aren't stupid. I love pirates. I hate pirates. God, I loved him in those movies so much. Oh, I had a big crush on him. Yeah, that was Puerto Rico. Yeah, it was a fun time. It was very hot. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't want to go back anytime soon. We won't go soon. We can't go soon. We got to build up PTO again. By soon, I mean in the next ten years. Oh my gosh, no, that's a long time. Your poor parents will be seniors. <laughs> they are seniors already. Uh, what are you talking they'll about? They'll be more senior. <laughs> they can technically live in a 55 plus community. Here. Shut up. <laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> oh, they're the youngest people that are their age I've ever met. <laughs> they're the youngest geriatric people ever. <laughs> Just swallow the water. <laughs> Don't let it come out your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I felt my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and here I thought this episode wasn't even going to be an hour long. <laughs> well, oh, fuck that. 22. You got a lot to edit, though. No, I don't. Yeah, it's it's you been do. pretty straightforward. Oh, I just got to cut, cut a couple of these You edit out this whole little bit right here. No, I'm just staying. <sighs> Anyways, anything else you want to say? Wait, wait. Do we want to rate Puerto Rico? No, that's not fair. One out of ten? One out of ten. How much fun we had? How much fun we had? Yeah. I'd say like a 9.5, only because I do wish we'd been able to do stuff that Sunday before the party. And I wish we'd been able to pack Sunday night and do stuff all day Monday before we left. Hmm. But it's okay. We It was a really short trip. It was really short. Yep. There just wasn't enough time. It was an eight for me because of the heat. That's still pretty high. Oh, that heat was fucking killer. I'll still give it a 9.5. Mm. We'll include the not getting to do everything that I wanted to do and the lack of air conditioning in the 0.5 that I took away. <laughs> See, the, the, the lack of air conditioner and the, um, the unbearable <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> Humidity. <laughs> Humidity. Just, <laughs> just takes away two whole points from the experience. I mean, that's fair. It was, it was really, really hot. Yeah, I'm not... No. And just, oh God, like walking into the house and just wanting to go into that bedroom and never leave. It's like one thing is like when we stepped outside at the airport, I was like... Uh. <laughs> it's just, it just like slams into you, pushes like, you down into the ground. It's like when you're in a nightmare and you know you're in a nightmare and you're like, oh, this is familiar. That's kind of what it felt like. I was like, oh, I was hoping There's I would no never. There's no waking up. I was hoping I would never have to breathe this in again. Oh, no. It's so heavy and thick. It was very heavy and thick. I do appreciate you not abandoning me every night and going out. All night long, or dragging me with you, you were too tired. I knew you were going to be too tired to do it. You want you talked a big game, but you're old now. I'm old now. <laughs> we're both old now, but I never did that even when I was young. Yeah, yeah. I've always been a. Home and I also wasn't going to leave you alone at the house. Like there, there was the one day where I wanted to go out, and I didn't just because you. you wanted to stay. Thank you. So. Nellie would come in and steal my birth control from me. <laughs> no, that's staying in. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. That's okay. We joked about it together. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and I think they finally understand we're not having kids. 
But they have Oz and Luna. They have Luna. We're we're kids. I'm the cutest little fur kid ever. I guess she's okay. I guess she's okay. But yeah. she's more than okay. So uh, I guess that's it. You don't have anything else to say? I don't think so. No. no. We'll be back to your regu- regularly scheduled content next week. Yes. Where I'm not reading about Dragon Ball people. Nope. You are reading about uh, Force-sensitive people. Yeah. Not really things I want to read still, but it's okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm talking Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga next week. and it's, it's really funny. It's very funny. It's very funny, but it also has a lot of issues. Um, I think it actually ran better before the patch <laughs> than now that it has the patch. Bless it. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll have some guests next week to talk about it. Um, so far we do, but we'll figure it out 100% next week. Um, so our art was done by Metamorphic You can find her on Instagram at Metamorphic and her link will be in the show notes. Um, everything else for links and whatnot are in the show notes. Kareden, anything you want to say before we end the show? Um, no. 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 I'm still recovering from my choking incident. (laughs) 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 Youngest geriatric people ever. That was an awful time to say that. Awful. Had a huge mouthful of water. Yeah. I could have died (laughs) prematurely. I never got to my youngest geriatric phase because you killed me. What a youngest geriatric. Yeah. (laughs) Joke. Oh. All right. Do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.